I was in um, post as a cancer, a skin cancer nurse specialist and um, so probably about three years ago um, when I was doing the skin checks for a follow-up clinic that I did in uh, plastic, the plastic surgery department, um, I carried out a couple of, some EHNAs on patients and there was mostly anecdotal at first, but then as I carried on doing some EHNAs, I noticed that there was a real um, trend in patients having um, lots of kind of psychological issues to do with coping with their melanoma. And I think that part of that was because they have quite a rushed diagnosis where they come in, have a mole removed, and then they're given their results and it all happens very quickly. Then they have further surgery and then they're in follow-up before they know it and then kind of expected to get on with it and move on and they're coming back to three monthly skin checks and that increases their levels of anxiety um, and I felt that there was something missing for this group of patients and I kind of had a vision to do something but I didn't really know what that looked like so um, I thought I'll just chat to some patients in clinic, which I did quite informally, and then um, decided that I needed to do um, something a bit more formal. So um, I set up a focus group, which was, um, I wasn't involved in the focus group um, directly because I wanted patients to be able to be open and honest about what they wanted. Um, so someone from Macmillan um, Wellbeing Project and a clinical psychologist led a focus group which had five patients and they discussed um, the possibility of starting up a session for melanoma patients um, and what that might look like. But actually quite a few of the patients had been in follow-up for a few years so they felt that there probably wasn't something that needed to be done um, which I wasn't quite sure about so I ended up um, developing a questionnaire and the questionnaire was carried out over a year for patients in follow-up who were more sort of three to six months post treatment um, or surgery and so a did 55 questionnaires and the question that was mainly asked was would you attend a one-off educational session so um, I set um, so asked them what they would want from that and gave them a few options um, so out of the 55 patients that were asked 44 said that they would like to attend something and 11 said they wouldn't like something and the three main things that they wanted um, further information on was um, how to prevent further skin cancers, um, how to check for their own moles and lymph nodes, and also um, coping with the psychological impact of melanoma. So um, we looked at the questionnaires, looked at the feedback, there was sort of more detail in than that. And then, um, then Kate joined the team, my colleague, so I was um, on my own in that post. Um, so this kind of work was ongoing for about a year before we actually set anything up and then my colleague Kate um, joined us and then we set up the information session which we now um, are running three times a year and all patients diagnosed with melanoma get invited to that session as part of their follow-up 